So, hello. I just thought I'd show you another little walk, a fantastic walk in Athens, down from the Acropolis, which is behind me, to Plaka and Monastiraki. And this is a different route to one I've done previously in videos, so I hope you enjoy it. The path from the Acropolis and where the tickets are to the taxi and bus area here, where you can get your open top buses to either the Athens Riviera or central Athens or down to Piraeus and it's always busy down here and instead of going perhaps down towards the Acropolis Museum you turn with your back to it you turn right effectively as you come down from the Acropolis and we go down here and this is a fantastic little walk um, it's very pleasant it's pedestrianized all the way down and it takes you right to the end of the Monastiraki flea market where you can then enjoy the Agora or if you wish, go further down to Monastraki and Hadrian's Library and have a really good little afternoon. Here you can cycle if you wish. There's lots of um, cultural events, shall we say, down here, music and so on. And it's beautiful. It's a May day and you can see the weather's not too bad. I'm actually wearing a jumper. It's about 20, 22 degrees and it's just fabulous, this path. It's easy. So if you're up at the Acropolis, it's downhill all the way. It's dead easy. And if you're going back to central Athens, this is an ideal way to explore and see some life of Athens. You don't have to, of course, purchase anything, but should you wish to, it's all here as well. And you can see in May, very busy. I mean, I hate to think what it'd be like in August. And it's just a fabulous way back down from the Acropolis. I've actually just done the Athens Riviera bus tour, which is another one of my videos. But I just thought, I haven't videoed this. I haven't shown you this route down the hill. And I thought I'd check. See, so, yeah, on the way down, there are a number of archaeological sites to look at. Um, here we have the Fountain of Fix. We have to the right, the Acropolis on the hill looking majestic with a path that I'm not quite visible to us, just visible on the right. But lovely pedestrianised route. There are restaurants down here, there are flea markets down here, so we'll have a little explore and hopefully you'll enjoy it. You can imagine in ancient times that this place was probably almost as busy as it is today. I think there are a few less people in the world. But it's still a very busy place, very beautiful. Lots of school parties here today. As usual, losing one kid or another and everyone having to wait for them. But that's pretty par for the course, I think. So you can go right here if you wish. These bikes are about to come out from the right. And that will take you down to the top of Placa, I believe. Or you can go along the top of the Agora, effectively. Um, because the Agora is up here on our right. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. Outdoor cinema, fantastic in Greece, outdoor cinemas, particularly in the sun. Yes, so if you go right here, now this chap in gold is usually standing on the top of a pillar, he's obviously in a break. If you go right here, it takes you down to the top of Placa, around the back of the Agora. You can see Athens is ranged in the distance from us, and here we are. We've started with some of the little market stores, plenty of ice cream. I'm not going to tell you it's cheap, but it's very good quality, I have to say. And very accessible, as you can see, for everyone. This is one that you can do with push chairs. Lovely little houses along here. And to the right here is the ancient Agora of Athens. There are actually two Agora here. You have the ancient Agora on my right, which is the Hellenic Greek Agora. And this is the Agora that was created by Heracles after the Persian Wars of 490, 480, the Persians came down and they sacked Athens and they basically burnt it to the ground. And then after the Battle of Salamis, a big naval battle where the Greeks beat the Persians, they rebuilt Athens and this was ancient Athens in about 435, 440 BC. You can see on the hill the Acropolis up there, looking majestic. And range below it, we had old Athens here. So the first Agora was, as I said, created by Pericles, 430, 440 BC. And then the Romans came in at about 162 BC and they took over Greece, basically. They conquered it and they built their own Roman Agora, which is where 
Hadrian's Library is, which we might get down to later, but I have featured it in other videos. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to feature it now, um, but we'll see. But they built the Roman Agora, which is much, much smaller than the ancient Greek Agora. As you come down here, there are some fantastic things to look at beyond the Agora. For example, here in the distance behind the Agora, we see Letibetis Hill with its church on the top and Athens ranged out below it. And then as we pan back, we see the ancient Greek Agora below us. And then on the left behind us, we have a fantastic church here up on the hill. Two churches, in fact. And it's just ancient Greece at its best. It's fantastic. Loads of restaurants, should you wish to eat down here, you can see it's quite hot. Um, these are not going to be cheap, but there is competition at least, so you have a choice. Nice hotels and rooftop bars and things. If you're going to stay in Athens, my advice is stay right in the centre. Um, the big hotels park, park Grand Hyatt, the uh, Intercontinental, the Marriott, etc. They are down towards the seafront. Um, but that's not really where you want to be, to be honest. Yes, yes. So the gentleman was saying his balcony up there is fantastic for couples, but anyone wants to sit up there. Um, anyway, where was I? Yes, so the big hotels, the really big hotels are down towards the seafront. But what you really want to do is stay in the centre of Athens because you come to Athens to explore the ancient Agora, to explore the Parthenon, to explore the Acropolis. And the last thing, in my opinion, you want to therefore do is have to get in a taxi to do so. You want to be here. You want to be in, right in the centre of Athens where it is beautiful and fantastic and where you can walk around, enjoy the cosmopolitan atmosphere and just explore the beauty of Athens as it is. It also lets you, of course, avoid the traffic and the Athens traffic, as those of you who've watched some of my bus tour videos will know, is not great. But you come down here, there is no traffic to speak of. Um, you get the old motorbike, you get the old council vehicle, people playing back backgammon here, which is one of the major games in Greece. You get it played in all the bars. But you come down here, there is no traffic. It's fantastic. And this little walk, there you are, ancient Agora of Athens. I'll show you how to get in there. I have done it in another video, but it's very easy. Um, and you can buy, in fact, a ticket. I think it's 30 euros for adults. I can't remember what the concessions for OEPs and children. But you buy one ticket that does everything. So it will let you into the ancient Agora. It will let you into the Roman Agora. It will let you into the Acropolis. It will let you um, into the theatre of Herodicus Atticus, which is the theatre at the basement of the, at the base of the uh, Acropolis. And my advice is actually, and I'll put some footage in of the queue that I saw today, um, because it was a very long queue. My advice is very strongly buy it online before you come. You can buy these things online. I don't know why people don't. They obviously enjoy queuing in the sun for 40 minutes. You don't have to queue in the sun for 40 minutes if you buy it online. There is no queue for the online uh, ticket collection because it's dead quick. People aren't fumbling around for money and so on. So my strong advice, even if you're just going to the Acropolis, is buy your ticket online in advance. Now there's local elections here. Here we have one of the political parties, New Democracy, current Prime Minister's party. But there are local elections here. There are eight or nine parties involved in that at the moment. And it's proportional representation. But anyway, we've turned right now. And you can see, here we are. The Agora is still here in front of us. And there are still lots of people here. Fabulous. Nice little market. Um, but we've turned right and we're coming down to the top of the flea market, which is Monastiraki flea market. And we can walk along, effectively along the front of the ancient Agora. Here. You can enter it if you wish, provided you buy a ticket. And it will take us down to Monastiraki. Letibetis Hill on the distance there, which looks very nice. And here's this yard, one of the metro stations. So at this point, if you wish, you could get the metro. Um, I'm not sure which metro line it is, but it will take you along to Monastiraki. The actual metro line here, when the metro itself was finished, I think in 1996, the actual metro line here was built in 1896. And it runs overground through the ancient Agora. It's fantastic, actually. Keep on coming down past the metro 
and you can go straight on down if you wish and get taxis. I have had a taxi from here before, but I am going to turn right just at this building with blue shutters and we're going to walk along the front of the Agora. There are loads of restaurants along here and this takes you down into the flea market and to Monastery Aki Square. Here we are, we turned right and you can see very, very vibrant area. I have videos on this area. I've done other videos. I've done a walking tour of Central Athens, uh, which I narrated. I've also done one which I didn't narrate. So you can watch either of those. I would suggest the narrated one is better. But we're walking now along the front of the ancient Agora. And there's a very nice restaurant actually to the left called Cali Zoe, which I have mentioned before. I'll just show you that. It's just across this little spit of grass. I need to get, unfortunately, past this bin before I can show you it. There you are, with the red chairs over there. Cali Zoe. I would highly recommend it. It's very spit and sawdust. It's very basic. It's very good Greek food, however. And unlike a lot of these places, it's not enormously expensive. So Cali Zoe, my recommendation for a restaurant when you're down here, just down there with the white awnings. Very nice. But there are lots of good restaurants along here as well. So you can take your pick, to be honest, and have any of them. Okay. You can see on the hill there the Acropolis. Looking majestic. And then, as I mentioned, down here we have the Athens Metro running through the ancient Agora. So we keep on along here towards Manastraki. And this is history central, really, for Greece. There's nowhere better in Greece, should you wish to see history. It's just all around us at this moment. It's impressive in every single way. It's also rather hot, impressively hot at the moment, and quite humid, um, which is unusual for late May, but there we go. But we keep along here, and then up on the right in a minute, we will come to the entrance to the ancient Agora, which I'll just show you. As I said, my advice, buy your tickets online. Don't queue up for them. Although, if you haven't bought them online, and you want to go to the Acropolis, come here first, buy your tickets at the Ancient Agora, buy the um, all-in-one ticket for 30 euros per person, and then go up to the Acropolis, because you won't then have to queue at the Acropolis queue to get in. You'll already have your ticket. So that will be the top tip, I think, for you. You can see such a nice area. So just up here on the right, we have the entrance to the Agora. And as I said, buy your tickets in advance. But a top tip for you actually is if you don't buy your tickets in advance, um, come here, queue up for two minutes, buy the group ticket here for 30 euros, which allows you entrance to the Agora, the Roman Agora, the Acropolis on the hill. And then you don't have to queue for an hour to get into the Acropolis. And you can see here the metro that I mentioned beautifully graffiti as they are, but running straight through the ancient decor. It's fabulous. It narrows down here the park and it pushes people together, which actually on a Friday afternoon is still too bad. On Saturday it can be quite impressive. And I always say this, but it's true, you have to watch your wallet and handbags and these crowds. It's not too bad today. I'm not saying that it's a problem here, it's not really, but it's like any major city. There are people who will take advantage if they see the opportunities. Just don't give them the opportunity. And awareness is 95% of it, which is why I mentioned it. Beautiful. And fabulous museum here for the ancient Agora. Well worth visiting. And this, after the restaurant zone, takes us into the flea market area, which we'll see in a minute. So we continue along, and as I said, at the end of the restaurants here, we come into what is really the flea market area of Monastery Aki, very, very famous. It used to be well known for leather goods, not so much um, It has all sorts to be honest. And in front of us, the ancient building at right at the end here is the Hadrian's Library. Um, Hadrian was emperor of Rome in about 150 BC, and he was um, enamoured, shall we say, with Athens. He loved Athens, partly because of the place, and partly because of the people here. He had a lover here, Herodicus Atticus, who was a huge benefactor for Greece and built an awful lot of the Roman Athens that we see nowadays, including the Herodicus Theatre, 
which is at the base of the Acropolis, for example. Yes. Here at Hadrian's Library, which is also included in that 30 euro ticket that I suggested that you buy, um, we turn left and we come down into Monastraki. Uh, we see the ancient Greek church in front of us, and to the right we have an old mosque which is no longer a mosque built by the Ottomans. And Monastiraki is called Monastiraki because prior to the Ottomans, in about 1485 when they came here, Monastiraki was a convent and there were nuns and uh, monks here. And then the Ottomans came in, occupied Greece, and basically knocked the convent down, built their own mosque which as I said is here on the right no longer a mosque I think it's a storeroom or something um, but they created this sort of marketplace which exists to this day it is a marketplace on Australia and it is at this point that I'm going to leave you because I just want to show you very quickly an alternative walk an alternative route either from Monastraki up to the Acropolis and the Parthenon or from the Parthenon yeah. down to Monastiraki. I have other videos walking around Athens looking at Ermu Street which is just over there, looking at Placa which is just behind me, you can turn right at Hadrian's Library instead. So have a look at those please um, if you wish to walk around Athens, it's a fantastic place. Down there is the flea market itself, runs parallel to the Agora Street that we were just on and have a look. Enjoy Athens, it's fabulous in the summer, it's safe, it's vibrant, it's lively. And look at my other videos should you wish to explore them. Thank you.